The first waves of hunters are settling into their South Dakota surroundings tonight ahead of Saturday's pheasant opener. Hunters from across the U.S. arrived at the Sioux Falls Regional Airport today with high hopes of success in the field. Kella Lance Perry Groton caught up with some of the hunters who have come a long way to bag birds, some for the very first time. The airport terminal has become the ringneck rendezvous point for hunters on their cross country journey to Sioux Falls. Andy Diodati is a snowbird in reverse, leaving the desert heat of Arizona for the wind and cold of South Dakota. Let's put it this way, I was in shorts and a, and a uh, sport shirt playing golf yesterday at, uh, until the sun went down. Now look at you. <laughs> now I'll be sporting a browning shotgun. Diodati says he's hunted pheasants in South Dakota for at least a dozen years. Others are new to the state. You got a, a dear friend who convinced us to come out here, said it's unbelievable hunting and uh, we're going to give it a shot. No pun intended. Tim Wachendorfer has never hunted pheasants before, so he's a little like a fish out of water. Big fisherman, but saltwater. Our East Coast guy, live in North Carolina, so we're not, uh, not familiar with this part of the... A first-time pheasant hunter from Virginia who's used to southern hospitality is impressed by his reception in South Dakota. It's a good culture shock. The people up here are just so friendly and hardworking. Uh, these are, in my opinion, the people that built America. You know, it's, see a large veteran community and it's just, everybody's just super friendly. The hunters acknowledge that their sport is getting more expensive, especially with the rising cost of ammo. But they say the time spent in the fields of South Dakota is worth the investment. That it may be a little expensive, but it's, it's kind of the fruit of your own handiwork. And so it's the memories and the relationships and uh, really supporting conservation as well. South Dakota's pheasant population is a powerful draw to hunters ready to take aim following their long flight here. To chase these beautiful birds, it's worth it. Yep, no doubt about it. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Keller Land News. Hunters who have never gone after pheasants before say they'll rely on techniques they've used for hunting other birds like ducks and doves. They'll also rely heavily upon tips from their South Dakota guides.